right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we're going to start out by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. All right, give double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Ike around the world, preaching and teaching the truth. All right, with the GMS Memphis camp, I'm Yaka Nine. Brother Karab. Okay, and uh, today we basically got a quick lesson going into, we haven't gotten to the hard part yet. All right, we haven't gotten to the hard part yet. All right, right now we're still um, what you what you would call in training, so to speak. You know, we still practicing. You know, rehearsing. Rehearsing. The scripture says we're rehearsing the righteous acts. We're we're, we're still practicing. We're still, um, you know, working things out, <laughs> trying to work out the kinks before the uh, you know before the big big uh, finale actually uh, actually comes about. You know, and um, the only way to truly get through those things, man, is the Lord has to. Uh, test you you know you have to be tested man and the things that we're dealing with now you know it seems to be like you know uh, uh, it's hard and it's it's a lot on us but at the end of the day man this is really it's really not man we haven't even got to the hard part all right the hard stuff man is is, is yet to uh, you know be be seen yet we don't know what we're, what what uh, position the Lord is going to put us in, man. Where, where are we going to be at? You know? All we know is it's, it's, it's going to be a, a, a long, uh, straight road, man. <laughs> a, a, a difficult uh, way, you know? But uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, we're going to get through it, you know, if we're those men. You know, Lord willing, we be that hopefully elect, man. You know? So we got some scriptures lined up. And um, Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson for the elect. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Hey, this is uh, this is Acts 14 and 22. Yeah. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must do much tribulation into to the kingdom of the Most High. Right. Go to the word uh, uh, tribulation. I got you. Yeah. We're going to go through much tribulation. You know, before we enter into the the kingdom of the Most High, so hey, it's it's gonna be a a, a hard road, man. You got it. <coughs> G twenty three forty seven. Thelipsis. Thelipsis. This is a uh, this is tribulations in the Blue Letter Bible, uh, the outline biblical usage. <coughs> it says uh, metaphorically oppression, affliction, tribulation. Yep. Distress and straits. Distress and straits. All right, you're gonna be in distress and straits. We, right now, brothers are oppressed. Everybody's everybody's oppressed right now. Okay, but it's 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 levels to this, man. All right, and then when the, when the shit hits the fan, all right, this gonna be a whole nother level of oppression, man. All right, oh, oh being uh, oppressed for the name of the Lord. Uh huh. <clears throat> Okay, we that 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 persecution really hasn't truly uh, uh, started to come down on brothers, man. You know, where where they're putting your face on uh, TV, trying to lock you up, you know, right. trying to kill you, you know, because of what you believe in and in, in the name that you're coming in, the name you're proclaiming. But it hasn't gotten to that level, you know. But it's it, that that's gonna come, all right, because of what it's written in the scripts. You got it, bro. You had something? Man, what's that scripture you have not resisted unto death? Um, I'm not sure. You probably have to Google that junk. But um, I'll bring out the next one while you look for it. Yeah, probably um, the shot. I'm sure I'll try man. Yeah, because this is, uh, <clears throat> this is um, 1 Corinthians. And the thing is, we're going to have, uh, you know, situations come about. But you can't, we can't, uh, feel like it's, it's more than we can handle, man. It's overwhelming, so to speak. All right? We always have to remember, hey, this is this is what it takes, you know, to, uh, uh, this is the way the Lord set it up for us to, to gain uh, uh, salvation, ultimately, man. To get to the kingdom of heaven, man, we got to go through this, man. 
All right? <clears throat> like this, the way it says, saying in the world, got to go through it to get to it. You got to go, go through something, man. You found me? Yeah, uh. that's a lot. <clears throat> hey, I'm going to start it with <clears throat> You got it, bro. Hey, this, this Hebrews chapter 1, chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Mm -hmm. And we ain't even made it to the finish line yet. Right. But though we run this race, it's a lot of things <coughs> that's trying to stand, they're trying to pretty much get in our way. Yeah. You know, those are the trials and the tribulations that we have to go through. The lose another woman, lose another job. Like yeah. the brother said, persecuted for the name of the Lord. Yeah. You know, Those now you on the news, looked at as a as a uh, terrorist. Right, right. Hey, you not ready for that yet, man? Yeah. We in rehearsal. This yeah. is a practice right now. And guess what? When you do do rehearsal, hey, it feels like you going through the real thing. Yeah, because you treat it as if it's the real thing. Right. That's that's how we treating this as a hey, this this you know this is real, man. Right. We understand it's it's a real thing, so we. We're treating this like, hey, this this is shit hits the fan scenarios, man. Right. All right. You getting your mind up spiritually, building building that uh uh that faith up with the Lord, man. Hey, whatever we go through, He's gonna get us through it. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey, Hebrews twelve and two. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame. And it's set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, he, he went through it. He already did it. Mm -hmm. You know, which gives us that 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 faith and that motivation and knowing, hey, we can do it as well, man, because the Lord is with us. Right. All right. Hey, two more. Hebrews 12 and 3. For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself. Least ye be wary and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. So pretty much, man, we ain't even at the point where we giving our lives up right now. We going through rehearsal. There's ever more reason to, like the brother say, hey, treat it, treat it like as if you in that moment. Right. As if you in the real <laughs> test. You know, each day. Mm -hmm. Strive harder. It's say yeah. examine ourselves whether that be in the faith. Yeah. Yeah, it's a daily fight, man. Yeah. You know, was it more? Nah, that was it. Okay. Yeah, so grab that. Uh, matter of fact, I got it. Let me get that. Um, it's a rock. Yeah, this is um, 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13. It says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. Mm -hmm. But the Most High is faithful, who will not <coughs> suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You know, and ultimately, man, that's being able to endure. You yes. know, the Lord is, yeah, being patient, bro. Uh -huh. The Lord is going to, uh, uh, ultimately, he's not going to put more on us than we can handle, even in those uh, times to come, man. It's not going to be more on, on top of us than we can handle. But we understand it's going to be a lot, man. Right. Because what this, this this scripture say this is a time that that has never been upon the uh, earth, man. All right, so we you got to understand, my like, hey, things are about to get really bad out here, man. Times are about to get really wicked and evil. All right, we're seeing it, uh, uh, you know, pro progressively moving in that direction now. Okay, where well, Esau is uh, being more of a devil, all right, pushing his agenda, Jake being uh, more wicked, you know, but hey, it's going to continually get worse and worse and worse until the point of, hey, the Lord is going to have to come back and deliver his elect, man. All right, we, that, hey, salvation, we got to be saved. We're going to have to be saved out of this shit, man. <coughs> Referring to uh, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. So the times are going to be really hard, man. What, what we're dealing with now, this is like like we've been mentioning. It's rehearsal. This is a, a, a trial. This is a test. You know, like you take those little uh, pop tests and it kind of gets you ready. Okay, dang, you know, I didn't do too good on this one. You know, you go through something. You might not have 
uh, uh, aced it. You may have passed, but you then you wanted to, you know, ace it. Uh, you got to, hey, you got to come back and, and work harder, man. <laughs> Look at what, uh, uh, you may fail it. You may just fail the test completely. But if you get the opportunity again, you you know, you, you're more prepared. You know, if you're studying, if you're watching, you're paying attention, okay, you you come back, you know, and, 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 and ace it the next time, man, compared to somebody who's, who's uh, uh, just content with, with, with what they have, man. Basically a person that, that feels like they got the, the, the way, they got the knowledge, oh, well, I, I know my way is right, man. I ain't worried about nothing. Paint hands. You know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Jake right. always, you know, talk about what he'll do and X, Y, and Z, man. Okay, you 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 might get put to that test, man, and you, and you fold, man, you know? So we always, you know, we, we have to be mindful of uh, what we're doing, all right, but ultimately the bigger picture, man, and how, how, basically how hard this road is gonna be, man. Not sugarcoating it, man. We're not just telling you, uh, you know, the kingdom of heaven, man, is gonna, you know, basically come in just like that, man. Oh, we, like we were speaking on at the brother Tyler Mark's house about, you know, uh, uh, the cherry is coming, you get beamed up and you ain't went through nothing, man. No. Skip, 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 Jacob. Trouble. Just right. go straight you, to the rewards. Yeah, you go straight to all of the the goodies, the benefits. You know. Mm -hmm. No, you got to go through. You got to go through the persecution. You got to go through the heart. Get a uh, Romans eight, Bible Kusha. That uh, I believe was like the last. No, no, nah, nah, that's how I read the Bible. That's like. Yeah. Uh, well, that one what I was talking. Keep going. Uh, I think it's like 30. Um, what can separate us? Yep, we'll go back up. Um, right there, 35. Yep, 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 yep. This, this Romans chapter 8, mm -hmm. verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation, right. or distress, or persecution, See? or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword, as it is written, uh, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are to count it as sheep for the slaughter. Right, and, and none of these things can separate us from from the love of Yahweh by Shem man. Mm -hmm. All right, <coughs> because um, ultimately the will of those elect is nothing that's going to stop us. You know, the elect is going to is going to uh, endure and keep pushing no matter what. You know, and that's the mindset you have to have. But just understanding that, hey, this this thing is going to get harder, man. All right, well, what we're going through now, you you catching catching a little hell, man. You go through things, you know. But but it's <laughs> like you say, it's just a test, man. It's a, it's a small potatoes compared to what what's what's on down the line, man. Those tests are only get tougher and tougher and tougher, you know. So you have to continue to build your faith up so you can get through it, you know? And that's 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 what the Lord is doing with us right now, man. He's he's building us up to be able to get through what's coming, man. Okay? So brothers, when you you facing that hell, when you're going through something, man, just understand, man, this is chastisement of the Lord, man. The Lord is building you up to make you great, man, to make you better. All right? Not to break you down. All right? You got it, bro. <clears throat> yeah, keep going on there. Okay. And it's Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors See? through him that loved us. Hey, we are more than conquerors, man. Through him that loved us. You have a shot, man. Through him, through him, we get the victory, man. You got it. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present and nor things to come because hey, a lot of evil is about to approach the earth, man. It's going to be a time like no other. Yeah. They say in none in history of, of Jeremiah 30 and 7, mm -hmm. no history, no historical event yeah. can compare to the time that we're about to go into wow. in this present time right here, man. It's present life. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, we hadn't even got close to the, uh, <coughs> the hard part. Right. 
All right, we're, we're going to the hell we're catching now is nothing, you know? Right? Like it feels like it's something, but man, you got to think about when 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 <coughs> all hell truly breaks loose, man, when the shit hits the fan, man, you know? You got to be girded up. You got to be spiritually uh, uh, prepared and ready, mm -hmm. you know? You can't be uh, lacking in that thing. The one time, you know, you know how now Jake will slip up and get caught on about some shit. And <laughs> the Lord, uh, you know, you know you be uh, 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 wrong or you went off. Uh, but ultimately, the Lord still will guide you through it. It'll, it'll, it'll work out in your favor. And that day, man, it may it may be shit. It might cost you your life, man. A uh, 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 call or slip up. It could cost you, man. Okay? That's that's basically, I compare those days like like uh, finals, man, in, 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 in school. school. Yeah, you know, when the finals come up, man, you got to be on point. You got to be ready. Those, those uh, mistakes, man, will cost you, you know? So you got it, brother. Hey, Romans 8 and 39, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, this is rock chapter 2 verse 13 Woe unto him that is faint hearted right. But he believeth not Right see if you, don't, if you don't have that trust in the Lord now If you're faint hearted Hey man the description about to, read, about to say it You got it Therefore shall he not be defended See therefore and, shall he not be defended man. Right. So if you, you faint hearted And you not really believing The Lord not going to defend you man all right, that's the reason why we, we, we speak and the scriptures say, be ye doers of the word and not just hearers also. Right. You can hear this word, man, believe it, but then you're not doing shit. You're not really, you really don't have faith because you're not uh, 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 taking, it's not taking root, taking action in you to do something. You have to take action. You got to, you got to move in, 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 in the direction of um, getting things done, getting things accomplished, man. Building yourself up, okay? Cause hey, what what's coming, man? Just sitting on your hands, all right? Oh man, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you ain't not saying you you going out here, man, to uh uh grab like a, a, a you know how those preppers, man, they got out grabbing up canned goods and guns and this that and the other. No, we're doing it in a in a spiritual spiritual sense, man. We're basically uh, uh, spirit, faith. yeah, uh, prep, prepping up faith, man. We're spiritually prepping, uh -huh. okay? The things we're doing now, man, are, are building us up for what's to come, man, okay? The trials, the tribulation, the hell that we catch right now, okay, that's preparing us for what's to come because it's only going to intensify. It's only going to get worse, all right? But other people in this world, they're not, they're not prepared. Okay, they don't they don't know what it's like to go a day without eating. All right. They don't know what it's like to uh uh you know have to go out on the highways and hedges and teach in, in, in zero degree weather, <laughs> uh, uh negative one degree weather out there. You mm -hmm. you yeah, what do you call it? Snow dummies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jake Jake they not they not really ready for what's coming. But hey, hey, the water you how about Shima was shy? That he's given us the knowledge, uh, the wisdom and knowledge, Isaiah 33 and 6, to be able to understand that, hey, we need to get ready. We need to be prepared for what's coming. What does the Bible always say? Proper preparation prevents <laughs> poor performance. Come along on, man. With faith. <laughs> along with faith. <laughs> so we got to prepare, man. You got to be ready, man, because, hey, we haven't even got into the hard part, man. I remember that movie, uh, Major pain, man. Remember, he told him, wait, uh, uh, wait till tomorrow, ladies. Then we get into the hard stuff. <laughs> and then we going to get to the hard stuff. And then they was like, the hard stuff. Yeah, they was yeah. like, shit. We ain't, we ain't all this. Yeah, so it's like, man, you know, the Lord, hey, he's a he's a austere and stern man. Power. All right. What do you think? He, he ain't going to let us just slide, man, just cakewalk in this thing, man. You know, and just, here it is, you, you just give us the uh, kingdom. No. Through much tribulation shall we enter. 
Right. Okay? So we just got a few more, man. It's, you know, like I said, it was just something that was on my mind. I was speaking to a brother, and, um, you know, that's just something we were speaking on. Like, hey, I know it's hard now, but we ain't really got to the hard part. You know? We got we got a long way to go, man. Now, according to prophecy, we're, we're close. We're closer now than ever, but we understand that it's, it's still a lot we got to go through. You know? Don't think you're, uh, uh, like, some of these groups, man, your fringes is going to save you, man. You know? Hey, I got a precept for you. <clears throat> uh, this James chapter 1, verse uh, 2, I'm going to read this in the NLT. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Right. For you know that when your faith is tested... Your endurance has a chance to grow. Mm. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Right? So, hey, then shall you know, because of another part of that word, uh, sitting there for that word tribulation, was uh, pretty much a cluster of grapes. It oh, says grapes. Like the elect? Yeah, pretty much like you then shall you know who my chosen are. Mm -hmm. You see, when we go through these, hey, hey, right now, it don't seem like it because we going through the hell. So the Lord tell you, be not faint-hearted, you mm -hmm. know. Hey, take hey, take this little hell, this light affliction that's just right. for a moment. Right, right, because right. Because when that day come, hey, that's... You, you're going to be prepared. You're going to be prepared, and right. you're going to receive the eternal weight of glory. Yeah. Which is the kingdom, which is salvation. Yeah. You know, humbleness. Like, even to for the Lord to even say... Uh, you Lord, wouldn't if you be the leg out of the midst of trouble, you know, mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, you beautiful, see, bro. even yeah. you die, you say, even if you that's die, beautiful. that's still a blessing. You're a martyr, man. You're able to be a martyr for the Lord, man. That's beautiful, man. You know, so but that's that's something you have to mentally prepare for, man. So, yeah, grab mm -hmm. that loop. I got you, bro. Yeah, that's something you got to mentally prepare for. That ain't nothing that you know, you got uh, it. Yeah, you Something you you you, you thinking that uh yeah yeah you Shit thinking well, I know I, I I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it and then you you're faced with death and now you think you're like damn that's that's a defeat you know right. <laughs> but ultimately no it's not man you still get the victory hmm. you got it hey this is Luke fourteen to twenty eight and beautiful precept for which of you intending to build a tower yep. sit if not down first. And count up the cost, right. whether he have sufficient to finish it. Yeah. Least happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. See, you don't want to be laughed at, man. Right. Starting something and you and you couldn't finish. We had men like that. It's, it's, you know, where are they now? You know, and when that time comes, they're not going to be defended because they show lack of faith, man. Threw the towel in. Right. We pray that that spirit is not on us, man. Right. That we that we can continue to endure and can continue to fight, man. You know, so the Lord will protect us and keep that hedge around us when the hard part comes, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because <laughs> we it's hard now, and and trust me, we praying for that hedge now around us. This world is evil and wicked, but it's gonna when the when the shit hits the fan, man, it's gonna really get bad, man. It's gonna really get bad out here, man. And this is a time like none other, so we can only imagine. You know, you see these movies Esau puts out, man. Uh, the Purge and all this type shit, man. When chaos is out, uh, breaking loose everywhere. All right, you, it's the it's the ones that have that stable mindset of what's what needs to be done. They'll, those are the ones who make it. All right. Who ain't playing? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yep, hey, if I may add real quick, they show you that on the first purge because at first Jake was playing, mm -hmm. you know, the main character that was mm -hmm. uh, in the hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was he was playing at first. Then when he started seeing his homies die, he started seeing, you know, they came with them drones. Seeing that's when he really wanted to get serious and yeah. lock in. Now his purpose was to protect the hood. Right. You see, which that's calm. Yeah, know? but I mean, you, you made it. That's a good point, though. Yeah. You don't you don't come in playing, man. You gotta understand this is this ain't no game, man. Right. So you take it serious right now. Right. right now is the time to to lock in and gear up and and get your mind right, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, that's one. 
We good. And the second Timothy chapter two, verse one. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach. Right. So that's what we're doing, man. We're being strong in the grace. We got this grace period. You don't, you utilize it, man. <laughs> what to 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 build your 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 faith up, man. You know, you don't play around. You don't you don't take this time and you bullshitting and lollygagging and joking and you know, you know, Jake, just you know, just partying and BS and they're really into the folly of this world, man. But scripture gonna say it. You got it, bro. Hey, it's Second Timothy chapter two, verse two. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Yep. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. No man that warp and take on himself with the affairs of this life. Right. That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. soldier. Right. So, hey, man, this thing... You got to have that soldier's mindset, man. That mindset of enduring, man. Mm -hmm. Overcoming. Enduring all things, man. What? For the elect's sake. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, man. And we pray that we are, or are that, the, the elect, man. And hopefully elect, man. We pray we are those, those men, man. Back in the flesh. Doing what we did in the, in the, in the ancient world. You know? Mm -hmm. But hey, right now... We haven't gotten to the hard part, so right now it's time to, you know, uh, uh, continue to lock in, you know, build yourself up, man, pray fast, do whatever you need to do to uh, uh, get closer to the Heavenly Father. How about Shema Shai, man? Don't sit on your hands. Don't sit back and wait for shit to happen, and then you uh, uh, start, you know, getting a fire up under your ass, man. Do it now, all right? The time is now. Okay, so you have something else, bro? So with that, Lord, willingness was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, we're going to give our praises, honor, and glory to yeah, the Howard, by the Shem, Yahweh, by the Kakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS, salutations and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.